Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So listen, I was over there on TikTok again, and now there's a new series, honey, by a young lady named Jillian, and she's telling her story, and it's called The Lies He Told. Here's a video to start you off, and then if you're interested, go over there and watch hers, because she has 21 parts, okay? 21 parts. So let me know in the comment section, are you going to be watching, or are you going to pass? But anyway, enjoy this first video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, and welcome. I know I said earlier that this would be who the fuck did I get married season two? <laughs> but I want Miss Risa to get her flowers. So this series will be entitled The Lies He Told. Don't it sound like a Lifetime movie? Yeah. So buckle your seatbelt. Because this is going to be a ride. All right. On January 5th, 2020. I contacted a restaurant called Bill and Derrick's here in Houston. My best friend at the time, remember I'm not saying anybody's government or real name uh, or nickname or what have you. My best friend Naya was in town for her birthday. Her birthday is January 5th. And we wanted to do brunch. We wanted to do Sunday fun day. We had an agenda that day, but we did not have any reservations at all. So I took it upon myself that morning to contact Phil and Derek's. And when I called, um, a gentleman answered the phone. Thanks for calling Phil and Derek's. This is Jared. How can I help you? I said, hi, Jared. My name is Jillian. Um, I'm trying to call to see if I can make a reservation today uh, for a party of five. Jared says, oh, that's impossible, Miss Jillian. We don't we don't have any reservations like same day reservations. I mean, it's really busy on a Sunday. I said, man, come on. It's my best friend's birthday. She's just in town until, you know, the morning or it was like Tuesday or something. And I said, you know, please, you know you sure you can't squeeze us in anyway anywhere he put me on a brief hold he came back to the phone and he said i got you i said bet my dog i appreciate that and he said hey but when you come bring me a power aid i said a power aid he said yeah i said what color you want he said blue i said bet all right so i round up all the girls it's five of us hop in the truck we drive to Phil and Dairies. We get there, I think, around 1 o'clock. I think the reservation was for 1. We go in. Actually, we didn't go in. I hopped out at the ballet. I think I was the last one to get out of the truck, but I had the blue Powerade in my hand. And I saw this man walk outside, and he was dressed as if he was a part of the staff at Phil and Dairies. And so... I walk up to him and I said, are you Jared? And he says, yeah. He said, do we know each other? I said, here your power aid. And he was like, oh, oh, you bought it. I said, yeah, I did. I said, I wasn't going to forget about you. So we broke contact. I go in, we get seated at the section. We eat, we laugh, we talk, we drink. A guy, fine ass man, walk up to me that was sitting at the bar. He was telling me his life story. Hey, baby, I work in the oil and gas field. I got that bread. I got this. I got that. And you know, I'm intrigued. I'm like, oh, okay, boo. You know, take me out. Do something with me. So Jared walks up and Jared says, hey, man, she already married. I look at my homegirls. I said, I'm married. <laughs> I don't see no. I said, sir, I don't even know that man. I, see, I'm capping at this point because, of course, I just brought you a parade. But we was in there for a couple of hours. And so he had spotted me from the side of the room talking to a whole nother man. So he comes over and he tells tells him that. So we leave. 
feeling theirs. We go to the address, we party. I'm in there, bottles, you know, just, you know, just us doing what we doing. Celebrating a beautiful woman and making it another year. So, my best friend leaves that Tuesday and I eventually start to have a fever. I go to the CVS Minute Clinic, I go in and I'm like, hey, I'm sick as a dog. I don't know what's going on. You know, y'all, what, what's going on? They check me. They say, well, you don't have influenza A or B. You don't have, you know, um, pneumonia. Like, you know, they were just telling me I didn't have any of the normal stuff. But in 2020, nobody knew what the fuck COVID was. <laughs> I had COVID. Because guess what? Naya had came in from Dubai. Most people that were catching COVID at the very beginning, they was catching it from people that was coming from out the country. So case in point, I was sick as a dog. I want it to, I want to make it clear that I did not have Jared's number or any way to contact him after I left Phil and Derek's that day. We didn't exchange numbers, any of that shit. I'm going to just put that out there. So, of course, it's going to be parts of the story that's going to make me really look dumb. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I done told y'all this before. This is a disclaimer. So, I'm sick as a dog for a good two weeks. All right? One day, it fell on my heart to call Phil and Derrick's again. So, I called up there and I said, hey... Y'all got a, a manager there by the name of Jerry? And they say, yeah. I said, he there? They said, no, he not here. They said, is, is, there some, is there a message that I could leave for him? I said, well, to be honest with you, I really want to leave a good review because he took care of us. He made sure that we had what we needed, yada, yada, yada. And so they said, okay, let me write your name and your number down. And I'm going to have one of the owners to call you back. So one of the owners did contact me back like within the day. And um, just for this story, you know, her name is Maria. Maria contacts me and she says, hey, you know, I got your number and your name. And they told me that you want to make a, you know, a review on one of our managers. And I say, yes, Jared was amazing. You know, I appreciate his customer service. Uh, we from Mississippi, so we know about being hospitable and we just wanted to thank you and to thank him for just a lovely evening, a lovely, you know, brunch or what have you. And she said, okay, I'm gonna definitely pass the message along. Thank you so much. We ended the call. I call, stupid ass, I call back up there again. Cause at that point I was trying to figure out in my mind why that man had told that man that I was married. Where he get that shit from? He knows something I don't know. So I call back. I call back up there. I said, hey, may I please speak to Jared? And the man said, hold on one second. Jared, pick up the phone. Hello, this is Jared. I said, Jared, I don't know if you remember me, but this is Jillian, the one that brought you that Powerade two weeks ago. He said, yeah, man, what's up? What's up? I said, how you doing? He said, man, I'm good. We just busy, man. I said, that's cool. I'm not going to hold you too long. I said, but I have a question for you. I said, I don't know if you remember this, but that Sunday that I came in there, a young man was speaking to me and you walked up and you told that man that I was married. I said, now, why, why would you do some shit like that? I said, I was really trying to get that man number. <laughs> and it's me. I'm ignorant like this. So I asked the question. I said, why would you say something like that to him? He said, well, dudes come in here all the time and they be, you know, on women and women really don't be interested. So, you know, I felt, you know, I could come over there and kind of relieve you a little bit because I ain't really think you was feeling it, nigga. I said, oh, okay. He said, but I got to get back to what I'm doing. Is there any way that I can get your number or I can give you my number and then, you know, we could talk offline. I don't really want to be on these folks' phone. I said, oh, that's cool. He gave me his number. And so we started chit-chatting. We started talking. Maybe about a week later, that's when 
everything started to shut down here in Houston because of COVID. Now, part two is where it really gets going.